Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to discuss a very interesting topic which has been baked into web development frameworks and has been a part of conversations for a very long time now. And that is, is it worth or you know how to get to zero kilobytes of javascript when you are running a page or when you are building a page you see there are so many solutions now from astro for example to nextjs to remix and a lot of these frameworks whole selling point or whole pitch point is that we are a framework which can build your website or build your react app or whatever in zero kilobytes of javascript shipped now what does that mean exactly this means for example if we take a look at astro astro says that we do not ship any javascript at all when you are building your page you know it, it it says that you can technically build your page with literally zero kilobytes and that's it if you need any javascript for example if you need some interactivity it's gonna do that with astro islands which means that it only loads the javascript which is required for that particular widget or that particular system on a similar line nextjs currently does not has a stable way of removing javascript from the build page even if it is static but for example there are flags like unstable runtime js which if you set to true it will emit a page with zero kilobytes of javascript no javascript runtime react runtime at all installed so next JS and again versal will push for zero kilobytes of javascript and remix for example also says that it's it's ux or it's it's a usp in a way the usp of remix is that it's actually does not require a lot of javascript and it builds on top of wet standards right forms and anchor tags and prefetching and so on but in a way that also means that they are focusing more towards zero kilobytes javascript world now what do i want to draw your attention towards in this video is that it's increasingly popular or it's increasingly becoming something where frameworks are heading towards less and less javascript and one of the reasons for that is because javascript by nature is a slow language for web right compared to html and css which are highly optimized languages which browsers understand javascript needs to be downloaded completely and then parsed and run and executed and make changes allowed to make changes on the web now these frameworks which are jumping on zero kilobyte bandwagon and you know there are new frameworks like astro being introduced and nextjs is there then remix is there someday some other framework would come out should you be concerned or should you be worried that you are learning the wrong framework for example if you are on remix should you be worried that astro is here or if you are on nextjs should you be worried that astro is here and you know nextjs serves 138 kilobytes of javascript Astro serves 7.6. Let's talk about that. The answer is not easy, as easy as yes or no. But I mean, if you want my opinion, then the answer is that no, you should not be worried about these frameworks coming out. But a detailed explanation is as follows. So you see more than what a new framework offers, what you also have to focus is the companies which are running existing frameworks, how quickly are they moving? For example, in case of Next.js by Vercel, Next.js is a highly maintained, very well framework which gets releases on a monthly notice. There is a Next.js conf coming up in October. So that is also a thing where most likely Next.js would release Next.js 13 that comes out with routing layouts, RFC support and a bunch of new features, hopefully. So you see Next.js by nature is moving extremely fast. It's introducing a lot of relevant features and it's backed by a company which believes in faster web, right? The end goal is not to ship less JavaScript. The end goal is to build a faster website or a faster web app because there is no way you can ever build a fully functional multi-purpose site like CodeDAM, for example, using CodeDAM playgrounds in 7.6 KB of JavaScript, right? So if you are building a product, which by nature, you know, would require some sort of JavaScript, opting into these frameworks yes can help can simplify but at the end of the day if your application if the user let's say lands on your page and they eventually most of your users ends up loading javascript worth 100 200 3 400 kilobytes uncompressed then it doesn't matter like this framework size slowly just fades away and eventually like helps you in a way because astro for example you can see it performs a full page reload instead of soft navigation so that requires javascript the backend architecture for example, sending JSON on SoftNav and replacing the DOM with props and state that requires JavaScript. So 
in a way, I feel like a lot of times JavaScript fight makes sense. Yes, you want to ship less JavaScript, but that's only for very specific set of pages, right? Could be for blog pages, could be for marketing pages, could be for something. In general, you don't necessarily want to optimize for single digit JS frameworks because the cost of doing that sometimes reflects on your features. And I'm not saying that you should go ahead and include any and every library out there, jQuery, moment.js, everything, and just bulk up your bundle size. But I'm just saying that if you're learning Next.js and you just see Astro coming out, for example, it's great to learn a new technology, but you should not feel a FOMO of, you know, that you are building a slower website because you're not. If you are building a decent mid-size to large-size application, you anyway would run over this bundle size uncompressed, right? At some point, that is okay. And your framework would just disappear in the background at some point and it will be worth it. For example, React Router, the new version of React Router shipped with all the new goodies of loaders and stuff with that Remix brings, but it's not a small bundle. It increased the bundle size, but it's worth it, right? The amount of functionalities and things you're getting out of that, that makes it worth it. That's it. Similarly, if you're on Remix, it makes sense to just stick to the framework and trust the people who are building the framework that they will be able to make it more faster, more efficient, more JS free. Next.js, I mean, Next.js is backed by a huge company, Versal, so there's that. But yeah, I want to know what your opinions and what your thoughts are on this new era of going for zero kilobyte JavaScript frameworks. Let me know in the comments what you think. That is all for this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.